You're losing that famous voice of yours. What's going on? I have no idea. <laughs> I, I flew here yesterday and now I'm losing my damn voice. Oh man, it's the best the, the best voice in boxing. Everybody knows. Yeah, that. I'm trying to clear my throat. Um, we're we're in great times right now. Uh, we're we're blessed, and we're gonna work hard to continue these blessings coming. It's incredible. It's just fight after fight after fight after fight. What's going on? Well, Francis is a UFC champion, you know, ex-UFC heavyweight champion. Things went bad for him with that company, and uh, he moved on. He took a chance on himself. He stepped off that off that cliff of life, where life could be ending or, or beginning, and it's beginning big in boxing, and we're happy about it. Well, we're at a stage there, having just seen the press conference, where conceivably your man, Francis Ngannou, could be the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world in his third professional fight. Yes. It's possible, it's probable, and we're going to do everything we can to make that happen. Uh, Francis is training hard. He's going to be stronger, better, smarter, and sharper on March 8th. The last time I saw you was uh, in the dressing room just after the Fury fight, and you said, I told you, I yeah. told you he was going to perform like that. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. When we say things, we mean it with our heart. This is not for promotion or, or for hype. We're real men doing real things. Francis is a threat to anyone in boxing, and we're going to show that on March 8th. How do you, though, as a trainer, train somebody who's never a, a novice? To, he looked like he'd been in the ring for years. How, how, in that short space of time, can you get him to box like that? Or, or had he done more boxing than we were told? Well, well, no. In mixed martial arts training, we box twice a week. So he's been boxing twice a week since 2016. However, we have 14 weeks to prepare for Tyson Fury, training six days a week, only boxing now. So we simplified the training, and he, he in four weeks, he was ready. You know, when you do MMA, there's so many different facets. When you can isolate one thing, like boxing, and then make the guy work those small crevices, they can improve really quickly. And that's what you're seeing with Francis and Gano. Four weeks, four weeks of training, he was, he was already sharp and ready. And you said after that fight with Fury, you think that Francis Ngannou won the fight. You're not the only person. A lot of, a lot of experts said the same thing. Yes, sir. For this fight, though, um, I, Francis seems to be saying that Fury's actually better than Joshua. So you, you, do you think that, that, that he's got an even better chance of winning this? Well, I don't do it like that because styles make fights. Of and of course, Francis should feel that way. Fury is a, is a complex puzzle to solve. He has so many dimensions. However, Sometimes the simpler is the better and the more efficient. In other words, Joshua hits a lot harder than Fury. Joshua's a lot more basic than Fury. And sometimes basics are actually better than being so vastly dimensional. So we'll see. One thing we notice is fire versus fire, power puncher versus power puncher, strong man versus strong man, and the strongest, smartest, and sharpest will win. And we plan that being Francis and Gunnel. Absolutely. So if you had your last dollar, what would your prediction be? <laughs> like I said up there, the flaming fist of Francis finishing Joshua. Fabulous.